Hi everyone, this is Oğuzhan. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will talk about difference between throw and retrow activity in UiPath when we are implementing in exception handling. So let's dive into UiPath Studio. So basically, I have sequence which multiplies two numbers. I will use it for this tutorial, and I will try to multiply two numbers, and I will add some exception to that workflow so that we will be able to play with that exception by using throw and retrow activities. Let's open our main XAML and let's try to call multiply two numbers action here so I need to provide two numbers here for multiplication and I will write them here and I will return the result to the main flow so let's uh, define them first and type them here continue with assign activity let's call our first number is number one which will be let's say 10 let's change it to integer and let's define another one number two chapter k number two let's call it five and let's change it to variable type to integer basically we have defined two numbers here and we will send them for multiplication operation after that we will return the result to end user let's continue with message box okay we need to also define another variable for this operation here multiply result let's say which is integer and i will type it here multiply result number two and number one if we look at this workflow here it's just gets two number and multiplies them and return the result to the workflow that called this operation i will type multiply result string so we didn't implement anything at all right now we just need base scenario here and after that we will be implementing those exceptions and retro and throw scenarios so and i will try to explain you guys what is the difference between throw and retrow activity so let's run this one okay as you can see here 50 is here what if we change this workflow a little bit so that we will be able to get some uh, exception from this workflow okay let's open that let's say that if if results greater than zero do nothing let's say log message everything is fine info but if it is not greater than zero and let's say there is an error on your multiplication result i don't know i'm just trying to make some random exceptions here so that let's call it error or warning and let's say multiply operation failed then throw an exception we can throw exception by using throw activity and we can say okay new exception by defining exception itself and then we can put some info inside this exception let me open this one multiply operation is failed so this is the exception here and when we throw it it will be handled by this main workflow here if we use try cache and i will get on that later we just define some exception here by using throw activity when we got result not greater than zero we will throw this exception here so let's run this operation let me call it zero and run it i should get exception here yeah i get an exception as you can see here and the message is the same the message that i type in throw activity here multiply operation is failed as you can see here multiply operation is failed is the same first i need to uh, handle this exception here let's 
handle that exception by using try catch let's handle it and I am adding exception let's add log message and let's call it error there is an error exception message you can use exception message exception message so you will be able to see what the message is written in uh, this exception by using this expression i have just handled this exception here so let's try this one now run file it finished working and as you can see here multiply operation failed uh, throw multiply operation failed which is here and then we throw the exception to the main flow here and as it is in the try catch uh, block the error will get here and it will basically says there is an error there is an error multiply operation an exception message exception message is multiply exception operation is failed let's make it uh, readable so that i will add message text here okay basically we have added this throw here and we will be able to see what is inside this exception and catch that exception here in main workflow what is retro then actually to be able to understand retro activity we will need uh, another uh, workflow that is called by this multiply to numbers workflow so that we will like uh, leveling these operations or these workflows and when we call that uh, second workflow from multiply to numbers workflow if we get an error we will try to add some throw or retro activity on that workflow so let's try to add two numbers let's make some addition operation i will add new workflow add two numbers If everything is fine I will make some addition so I will call this add two numbers activity and I will call it inside of the try catch uh, in case of any uh, errors or exceptions which might occur in this uh, workflow so activities try catch And I will put it here so let's define the exception and let's call log message here and let's say error add multiply operation is failed okay let's just send two numbers random numbers it doesn't matter let's call first one 10 and the second one maybe 25 okay open workflow let's add some business logic here let's call if results greater than 25 throw an exception we are using again throw and let's call this one as not exception but business rule exception which is 
new to you right now basically business rule exception is when you try to handle some business rules not system exception you probably should implement business rule exceptions like there is no data found that regarding this number or that id etc or it can be greater than or it can be lower than that uh, number that should define as um, business rule exception so I will just simply say business rule exception. Let me make it bigger and say some operation should be under 25. If it is under 25, let's call it everything is fine. Info. Result to string. So that means we can continue with workflow. But if we have an error, this workflow it will throw an exception to multiply two numbers, and we will handle that exception here. And if we want to throw that exception which we get here to the main exception then we need to throw that exception we need to make main workflow know this exception by using throw activity so let's say we have an error here this exception is thrown by this workflow and after that multiply two numbers we'll know that there is an error inside this um, workflow then we came to this exception part from here to here because we have an error in inside uh, multiply operation uh, and after that after handling this exception we can continue or we can simply say stop we have an error we need to report that error to main sequence main workflow which call us where here so main calls multiply two numbers multiply two numbers calls add two numbers if there is an error add two numbers add two numbers tells that i have an error here to multiply two numbers and multiply two numbers should tell that i have an error here to main workflow there are two ways to do so first we can say throw as we did earlier let's say new exception and then we have an error here in add two numbers or we can simply use retro instead of throw which means that you can use exception as it is defined in add two numbers activity it means that when we define this throw this exception here it will get into it will throw to multiply two numbers sequence and inside this exception variable this exception will be uh, in this exception variable so that we can use this exception itself by using retro or we can write another exception with throw activity and we can simply write some custom message inside this exception so i can do this as you can see here retro doesn't get anything as a properties so that exception will be thrown by using retro which is coming from add two numbers sequence add two numbers workflow or i can simply say i don't want to use retro i will write anything i want inside this message so i can edit that there is a custom message so basically if you want to write some custom message you can use throw activity if you don't want to write anything custom inside exception message there is no need for using throw activity so for customization you can use throw if you are not dealing with customization you can simply use retro activity and if you use throw like not this one but let's say throw and throw exception means that retro 
because I didn't type anything here. I just simply delivered that message to the parent uh, workflow so that I haven't changed anything inside of that uh, exception. So this row with exception itself without any change equals that read row. So that one is custom message. That one is with no change and that one also with no change. So this and this is equal and this one is contains custom message. Let's see if we try to run what is the output of this uh, workflow. So I will show it on debug mode so we will be able to see every step of the exceptions. So let's start with this one. I will put some breakpoints, toggle breakpoints here also. Let's debug. Execution started. Now I will multiply 10 and 0. So let's take, make it step into. And I will throw an exception here, which is this one. Multiply operation is failed. Let's go, let's go. And I will get back to main activity. And result is zero as you can see here and it finished working okay we just use throw here let's change it a little bit i will change this number to let's say 15 and so that in multiply two numbers sequence we will get into this part because the result will be greater than zero and we will see this add two numbers workflow and its exceptions with exception handling so let's debug. Okay, I started here, get it here. Let's add toggle breakpoints, and result will be 150. Okay, result greater than zero. Let's check the results. 150. Step into, step into, everything is fine. Let's add two numbers here. The result right now here is 35. So it will basically throw an exception here. Let's click continue. Some operation should be under 25. Continue, continue, continue. And there is an error in add multiply operation. We will see this throw here, which says that we have an error here in add two numbers, as you can see. Click throw, throw, continue, continue, continue. If we want to use retro instead of throw, let's add retro activity here and just comment that one. Basically, it will just deliver this exception to the main activity. Let's see that one, debug file continue here we just lock this message and we get to retro some operation should be under 25 why is it written here because I just give this exception message here under add two numbers so basically what I said here in business rule exception is simply delivered to this exception part here and as I didn't change exception itself I didn't implement anything custom message here so retro activity will get that error and deliver to main uh, workflow as it is written here so let's click continue and continue continue so we will get here there is an error in multiply operation message. There is an error in multiply operation message. Some operation should be under 25. So whatever I wrote here is just simply delivered to here, right? So I try to explain difference between throw and retro activity. And hopefully this tutorial uh, will be helpful for you. And that's all for this video. Uh, see you in next one. Uh, bye for now.